Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. On our last episode, we began work on the tires, wheels, and hydraulic brakes. Through the course of our day, we discovered that the old hydraulic brakes were just a little too rough to save. We'd need to replace them. We've got those parts ordered, and they're on their way, and hopefully we'll have them on site in a couple of days. Today, though, we're going to finish removing the other two drum brakes, clean up all the grease and grime building up on those four backing plates, and work some of the slop out of the steering. If we're lucky, we might even get to start taking the carb apart and see if we can get it soaking in some cleaner. We're going to be putting in a full day at the shop today, so let's get to work. We began our day with the brakes. Last week, we removed two of our drum brakes, and today, we're going to quickly remove the other two and get down to cleaning. It's a messy job, but it's one that will make a big difference when we start to put things back together down the road. For this project, we just used some basic brake cleaner, a wire brush, some paper towel, and a whole lot of elbow grease. Before we were done with the wheels for the day, we cleaned up a few of the threads on some of the lug bolts. Everything was just covered in grease and grime, so it was good to work some of that junk out of the threads. Once the brakes were cleaned up, we turned our attention to the steering. In order to tighten up our steering, we began by loosening the upper race jam nut on the shaft end play bolt. Then we tightened the end play bolt until it was snug and then backed off of it about an eighth of a turn. Then we tightened the jam nut and upper race locking bolt. Once that was complete, we moved on to loosening the jam nut on the sector shaft end play screw. With a sturdy screwdriver, we tightened the sector end play screw and then tightened the jam nut. With the car up on jacks and the front two tires clear, we used a 5 8 wrench to loosen the four housing cover nuts about one turn each. With a 7 8 wrench, we turn the eccentric adjusting sleeve nuts clockwise to tighten it up. Finally, we spun the steering wheel lock to lock in place to make sure that we didn't have a high spot. Once we were satisfied that we had as much of the play out of the wheel as possible, we tightened the four housing nuts and rechecked our adjustments one last time. We decided to move away from the traditional grease fittings that typically adorn the Model A and move to more modern Zwick fittings. We know this isn't for purists, but the convenience of this alteration won us over, and at the end of the day, it was an easy choice to make. To 
Ford spent several hours this weekend removing the carburetor and getting it all cleaned up. Once George had it as clean as he could get it by hand, he took it all apart and soaked the pieces in a little MEK for a few days. With our parts on order and coming in soon, our work for this weekend was done. Join us next time as we tackle the installation of our new hydraulic brake kit and take our next steps towards restoring this classic Ford on Epic Restorations. <laughs>